What is awareness? Is it basically there are different meanings for the awareness. Some people call it as a knowledge. That is incorrect. Some people say it is only knowing what it is. So the awareness, I have, I have some knowledge, but knowledge means it's not complete. It is, sometimes it may be incomplete. Sometimes it partially. Okay. So what level of awareness they have is a question mark. Okay. So that is why I take awareness. Literacy is a very broader word because literacy is a higher level than the awareness. Literacy includes knowledge, attitude, and behavior. Together is called as literacy. Awareness is only a part of the literacy. Okay. Then comes with attitude. As many people have covered this word attitude. Attitude is basically a mental aspect where it leads to their behavior. Okay. Then behavior. Behavior is application of their knowledge. So we have taken these are the four variables in this particular study. Particularly, the attitude and behavior are having interlinkage. Okay. Please proceed. There is a gap which I told you very clearly in the state of Telangana. I searched it so many times. But I didn't get any paper on this area, particularly. Okay, that is why there are some research undertaken in this area in other parts of the country, but not specifically with the Generation G group. Okay, in the city of Hyderabad or Telangana, because I have chosen only Telangana because has Telangana particularly in Hyderabad, because Telangana is a very big area. Okay, so what is the basic objective? There are three simple objectives are there to assess and understand you know, awareness of this particular group people and analyze their awareness. Okay. And suggest maybe some ways and means to improve their awareness. Okay, please proceed. So when I conduct this survey, because I uh, made a sample a survey of 210 students in the city of Hyderabad, including the Geetam University where I am working, including Gosmani University, okay, and including the KL University, but I didn't go to the what is called the Central University of Hyderabad. Okay, why you pardon me, sir, for not naming this. Okay, so survey method was adopted directly by our, what is called as a, providing the Google form uh, having some 33 questions. Okay, so survey method was adopted through a structured questionnaire using the Google form to collect the data from the university students in the city of Hyderabad pursuing a degree and PG program. So degree program, I didn't go to the science again. Science people may be little bit aware about the environment, but commerce people and management people may not be much aware about the environment. They know environment. In a general perception, but science people more about the environment in a scientific manner. But the management people and other people may not aware actual what exactly the environment. We we environment we say what is outside is the environment. Okay, and it is a pilot study undertaken with a sample size of 210 student data has been collected to analyze the data due to the paucity of time resource and because even though I have taken 210 students, but because of the Activity, I was involved in this activity. <laughs> okay, little more, I was have done it, but anyhow, I will further do it further. Okay, extend this one. Then, random sampling method has been adopted because who are come, I requested. Okay, to my knowledge. And some of the people have filled this question as maybe here. Okay, then a question was prepared in English as a medium of instruction in the universities are mostly in English. Then the questionnaire developed and adopted from the previous questionnaires because I don't want much change in it except wherever it is required little bit changes. Okay. Then I have tested the reliability of the questionnaire where the, all the questions have a cron mark and alpha power, but it's called as 0.78. Normally it is required up to 0.60, it's minimum. But for a different variable group, the cron mark alpha is a different reliability is a different, but overall is coming to 0.78. Okay. For analyzing scores according to study variables, the mean score was considered. The statistical analysis was done by SPSS statistical tool. We have used it, including what is called some percentages correlation has been considered. The results of the study is very peculiar. Among 210 generation G group students, 127 57 are the women and 90 are the male people. And the majority of students in the group are 15 to 20 age group because they have taken MBA people as well as the UC people. UC people is between 18 and 19. MBA people between 20 and 21. Okay? So most of the people are in the range of 15 to 20 and remaining 40% are in the age of 20 to 24. Out of the total students, common students are 45% and business educators are 55%. Undergraduate students are 54% and postgraduates are 46%. 
Thank you very much.